today's headlines. The meeting with more than 1,163 retired officials living in the city. The reception of the combined troop restaurant built by the Naval X-55 factory and the Naval Service Technical Department. Get all pretty scheduled to be open to traffic on December 26 to serve the travel and transportation of goods during that. Hello, and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continues and Top News today. Celebrating the party in the year of the Dragon 2024 on the morning of January 30th, the Standing Committee of Kansas City Party Committee held a meeting with more than 1,160 retired officials living in the city. In a meeting, State Vice Secretary Phan Van Hill reported on the social economic situation, party building work, political system in 2023, and some key tasks in 2024. Retired leaders expressed their excitement at the achievements achieved in the past year, believing that in the new year, the party committee, authority, and people of the city will continue to unite to overcome difficulties and successfully implement their goals and tasks. At the same time, he gave some comments on the leadership of the city party committee, the management and administration of all levels of authorities. On behalf of the city party committee, Secretary Nguyen Phan Hiu respectfully and receptively received the opinions of retired officials. At the same time, he hoped that regardless of position and circumstances, with revolutionary tradition and dedication to the common cause, retired cadres would continue to promote their wisdom and practical experience, together with the party committee, city authority, and people of concern to promote the tradition of solidarity, sense of responsibility, innovation, creativity, constantly striving, overcoming all difficulties, while completing in task, contributing to the construction and development of Kansas City to become increasingly civilized and modern city worthy of being the center of the Mekong Delta. Also in the morning of January 30th, Kansas City People's Committee organized a gathering with outstanding people with meritorious merits to the revolution on the occasion of the 20th founding anniversary of Century Dan Kansas City and the traditional date of the Dragon 2024. Speaking at the meeting, Vice Chairman Nguyen Tư Kiên said that the city has organized many welcoming and commemorative activities to affirm and honor the achievements of the party, government, and people recorded by the people of Kansas City in 30 years of construction and development while launching emulation movements to create a joyful and exciting atmosphere to celebrate this important event. In particular, the city has paid attention to and effectively implemented the work of repaying credit yield, providing regular subsidies to 61,548 people with meritorious services to the revolution who are receiving preferential monthly subsidies with the above total cost of 132 billion Việt Nam Đồng. On this occasion, 200 gifts are given to people with outstanding contributions to the revolution, each worth 1 million Vietnam dong. On the afternoon of January 29th, Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Yung Tung Hing led the delegation to visit and overlook the New Year wishes at the Social Protection Center and Social Work Center of Kansas City under the Department of Labor, One Valley and Social Affairs of Kansas City. Kamra Yung Tung Hing and members of the delegation visited areas including residences, reception places, medical rooms, rehabilitation training rooms, entertainment places at the Social Protection Center of Kunta City. This place is currently taking care of 581 mentally ill people and vagrants. The Social Work Center in Kunta City is currently fostering 99 orphans and children contaminated with Agent Orange dioxin of whom the youngest is more than two months old and the oldest is 56 years old. Standing Vice Chairman Yu Tung Hing acknowledged the achievements and shared the common difficulties of the two centers in taking care of the beneficiaries, hoping that in the coming time, the centers will make efforts, unite and overcome difficulties, contributing to the good implementation of social security policies with the city. 
Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Nguyen Thuc Kiện on Tuesday 29th morning led the delegation to visit and offer their wishes at Saigon Joint Stock Commercial Bank for Industry and Trade or Saigon Bank, Masterize Group and Ho Chi Minh City Television HTV. The Vice Chairman said that in the past year, the city's has achieved many outstanding and comprehensive results in on views. It successfully organized its 20th founding. This is a very important political event for the party, authorities, and people of the Gotha city, affirming the results and achievements recorded in 20 years of construction and development. The vice chairman emphasized that the overall success of the celebration had the important contribution of Saigon Short Stock Commercial Bank for Industry and Trade and Master Rice Group. Ho Chi Minh City Television has enriched the content of the celebration program with the Vong Trang Cổ Nhạc to serve city residents and domestic and foreign tourists. The vice chairman extended greetings for a prosperous new year and wished the cooperation relationship between the city and other units to be more effective and better in the coming time. We now move on to other news. On January 29th afternoon, Ninh Kiều Upper the Street organized the National Unity Festival to celebrate the glorious party and happy spring 2024. Standing by Secretary of Kansas City Party Committee, also Chairman of Kansas City People's Council from Bong Hiu, along with 150 delegates who are religious dignitaries, prestigious ethnic people, humanitarians, intellectuals, businessmen, and overseas people, attended the festival. Last year, Ninggyo District met and exceeded 14 out of 14 targets, such as health insurance coverage rates, job creation, social investment, total budget revenue reaching over 100% of the annual plan target. Attendees were excited at the achievements gained by the district and expressed their determination to build a growing district in the coming time. Secretary of Ninggyo District Committee Nguyen Ting Phong acknowledged the contributions and noble gesture of religious dignitary, prestigious ethnic people, humanitarians, intellectuals, businessmen and overseas people to the overall achievements of Ninggyo District. In 2024, the party committee, authorities and people of Ninggyo District continue to take determination to well implement the resolutions at all levels. Resolution number 15 on the construction and development of Ningyo District to 2030 with a vision to 2045 worthy of being a nuclear civilized and modern city. On the afternoon of January 29th, Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Nguyen Ngoc Hè attended the review of the anti-smuggling trade fraud and counterfeit good tasks in 2023 and outlined tasks for 2024. The steering committee assessed that over the past year, gasoline prices have decreased, but prices of essential commodities and input materials have still increased, making production and business activities of enterprises and people's life face many difficulties. Accordingly, the city steering committee 389 advised the implementation of the constructions of the government, the prime minister, and the city people's committee in the fight against smuggling, commercial fraud, and counterfeit. Of it goods. In 2024, the City Steering Committee 389 set out several key tasks, regular tasks, and implementation solutions. On January 29th morning in Kansas City, Colonel Jim Thống Nhất, Deputy Commander and Chief of Staff of Military Zone 9, resided over the reception of the combined troop vessel design symbol ST-29402, built by the Naval X-55 Factory under the National Service Technical Department. This combined troop vessel was newly built in March 2022. It is 36.5 meters long and 6.8 meters wide, with an intake of 143 tons, a maximum speed of 22.05 nautical miles an hour, turbulent resistance levels of 6 and 7. The vessel is equipped with propulsion, vans, pipes, electrical equipment, many type armament, anchoring and steering equipment, mechanical deck, interior, life saving system, firefighting, etc. After receiving it, military zone 9 were handed over to Brigade 962 to manage and use for patrol, search and rescue essay. 
The construction of Gadol Bridge invested by the City Department of Transport has been joined to connect the two banks of Gadol Town and is scheduled to open to traffic on December 26 to serve the travel and transportation of goods during that. Gadol Bridge project has a total investment of more than 165.6 billion Vietnam dong from the city budget, in which the site clearance cost is 30. 4.1 billion Vietnam dong and the construction cost is more than 105 billion Vietnam dong. The route is a total length of 369 meters, of which the bridge is 83 meters long, belonging to level 3 traffic work with a design speed of 40 kilometers an hour. The completion of the bridge synchronously connects and maximizes the exploitation efficiency of provincial roads 919 and 922, serving the social economic development of the suburban district in particular and the city in general. That's it for this edition of Kent News. If you want to watch it again, it is bulletin. Please visit our website, kentotv.vn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.